Hi you guys, so today I'm gonna do a little bit of a life update while I get ready because I haven't posted in a while. I posted my story time and I got a couple comments and a couple Instagram DMs about like, where have you been? Oh my gosh, you haven't posted in so long and all of that kind of stuff. And yeah, so even though there's only like four of you that commented, <laughs> I'm going to do just a life update and it's something that I feel like is important to talk about because it is about postpartum mental health. So let's just get into it. The day that I'm filming this is April 29th. So it's two days after my birthday. I turned 27 on the 27th of April. And it's also the day after my wedding anniversary. So the point of me telling you what day it is that I'm filming is because it's almost six months postpartum. I'm like a week shy of six months postpartum. And it has been a journey, which is why I haven't been posting a lot because I have just been going through it. So what's kind of crazier about my particular postpartum journey i guess is that for probably the first two to three months i thought that i was doing really good but in reality it, i was actually having a really slow decline and it took until about the four month mark to actually realize i guess for like me and my husband to like really um, I'm sure something happened where we're like, okay, that isn't normal. I can't remember what it is now because honestly, the last two months have been like a total blur. But like the first three months felt like normal challenges of having a new baby. And I was stressed out, but I didn't feel overly anxious or overly depressed or anything. And then, like I said, like something happened around that four month mark where we we just came to this realization like I shouldn't be crying every single day like yes I'm stressed out but I should not be crying every single day and I shouldn't be having a mental breakdown by like 10 a.m every single day and like begging my husband to come home from work because I just like can't handle life you know what I mean like I just couldn't do it anymore you know so I was like all right well something needs to give I think I've been pretty lucky and like my baby making journey that I have looked out and I have not experienced a lot of bad things um, that I'm sure a lot of other women do experience. Like my OBs have generally been really good and I've had really good birth experiences and like not overly traumatic births or anything like that. But this time for my like postpartum part, um, I did go to my OB and I was like, I think something's wrong with me and I just need to, you to like tell me if I have depression or something. And they were like, well, it seems more like a burnout to me. Like maybe you just need a, a vacation or something like take a weekend to yourself, go to a hotel. And I was like, that is not how I feel. Like it doesn't feel like a burnout to me. I've been burned out before from like college and work and stuff. So I'm like, I don't think that that's right. And then yeah, I finally just was like, fuck it. And I got, luckily I have a really good health insurance and I can basically like just ask for a therapist. I can just go get it myself and my insurance will cover it. So I was like, that doesn't seem right. I'm going to just get a therapist anyway. And yeah, I have a therapist and she's like, girl, you're fucking depressed. Like, <laughs> Like, my freaking OB was like, I just think you're burned out. I just think you need a little bit of a break. Go stay in a hotel away from your kids for a night. Away from your breastfeeding baby that eats every 45 minutes. Yeah, okay, whatever. So, yeah, I have a therapist now. I'm still seeing her, and she's really cool. But she's like, yeah, you have, like, pretty severe depression um, and anxiety. So I got both. I'm really lucky that way, obviously. Um, I don't half ass anything, including my depression. Um, I've been seeing a therapist once a week for the last two months. So I've had eight sessions-ish. I've skipped a couple. Like, I skipped this last one because it was on my birthday. And, I, and you know, I didn't want to do it on my birthday. And, like, Nathan had made dinner plans and stuff. So um, 
Yeah, but I'm pretty sure I've had around eight sessions. That has helped a lot. And of course she has like really specific advice for me. But I will say that unfortunately for people who have depression, that advice that like everyone gives where they're like, you have to get up and get yourself ready for the day. Go outside, exercise, go for a walk, drink lots of water, eat three meals a day. That works. Like, I hate to break it to you, but that works. I hate that it works because when you are depressed, that is like the last thing that you want to do is all that stuff. Um, but it works. It does make you feel better. It doesn't solve every single thing, but it does make you feel significantly better. So if you can't get a therapist, I would just recommend that. Like, unfortunately, that is actually really good advice. <laughs> and things have been getting better. I didn't cry yesterday, which was like a big deal for me. And I probably only cry like every other day now instead of every single day, which like, you know, that's improvement. Oh, and then the other thing happened where I got, um, I got, man, what is it called? Where like every single time you breastfeed, you cry along with everything else. And I didn't even know that that, that it was correlated because I was crying already all the time because I was depressed and anxious all day and I was just like, my life sucks, oh my God. When my in-laws came to visit for a week, Nathan took a week off of work and he actually realized like, every time you come out of the nursery, you're crying. And I would be like, uncontrolled like I could literally, I would try to be holding back my crying and my tears and I couldn't. I literally couldn't. I would just be crying for like 20, 30 minutes uncontrollably every single time I breastfed or pumped or whatever. And so yeah, my husband was actually the one that was like, no, I actually think that that's like correlated. I think that maybe you should just stop breastfeeding and see how it makes you feel. And of course, you know, that was part of the problem. I'm still depressed, unfortunately. So I still cry like a lot. Like I said, like I cry like every other day now. But um, at least I don't cry every single time the baby eats because he was eating every hour. <laughs> what else have we done? I'm sure I'm forgetting like so much stuff, but because it's just been a lot, you know, it's just been, like I said, a blur. All that to say that you apparently can get postpartum anytime. It doesn't have to be like right after you have your baby. It can actually be any time in the first year and there's nothing wrong with getting help. I've never been depressed before and I didn't, honestly, I didn't, you can't know until you're like in it, but I didn't know how much guilt comes with that where you're like, I'm going through it, but it's also like making me be a bad wife and a bad friend because I don't have it. I'm not even checking on myself. You think I'm gonna like check on my friends, you know? kind of thing but then afterwards you feel so guilty because I want to be a good friend I don't want to be a bad friend and I don't want to be a bad wife obviously you get mom guilt you get friend guilt you get wife guilt and it sucks I think I kind of underestimated what having two kids would be like but it's also hard to say because I have depression and I'm trying to get out of my house and I'm trying not to be a hermit so that I do feel better and I feel like I've accomplished something but getting myself out of the sitting around not eating, not showering, <clears throat> not doing anything part is just like basically forcing yourself to do stuff. And it is so hard to be depressed. And it's even harder when you have to like, when you're trying to force yourself to get out and then you're also having to get two small children out of the house, it is almost impossible. I'm telling you, I failed. I tried for the last two months. I have tried to leave my house every single day with my kids and I think I've been successful like five times, six times. I'm trying to think, like not very much. So again, like if you're a, a postpartum mom and like specifically a stay at home mom where like you literally don't leave your house because you don't go to work, your kids don't go to daycare, whatever and you're trying to take that advice of leaving your house and it's too hard and you think that you're like failing every day, been there, I know how you feel and you are not alone, trust me, because I am still actively failing every single day at doing that. 
um, because it's freaking hard. It is freaking hard. I don't have anyone to talk to really other than my husband and my therapist, which is like not cool. Um, I do have friends that I could talk to, but I don't because that's my own personal issue. Like I just don't want to bother my friends with that shit. It's not their responsibility to deal with my mental health. So then I was only talking to my husband and I like really needed somebody else to talk to because it's also not, it is in my opinion, more of his responsibility to like talk to me about that stuff. But if I'm, if you're like severely depressed, it's a lot for your partner. I don't know what's been the hardest part, but like right now on the forefront of my mind, that seems like the hardest part is like, getting up getting everyone ready you know eating breakfast and then all of us like leaving the house to go to like toddler time at the library or even to just go to a park or go for a walk it is damn near impossible it is damn near impossible when you have a three-year-old that is running around like crazy and he's ready to go but then I have to like change the baby and feed him and burp him and like there's only this small window before he is gonna nap and he doesn't always nap very well in the stroller and it's so hard and then like you know you don't want to be out in public with a crying baby when you already have severe depression and anxiety like and you already cry every single day like no thank you I don't really want to be crying my eyes out in public with a screaming baby and a screaming toddler like that doesn't seem like fun so I don't want to do that and you just so it's like I'm thinking that and I'm like that is so hard to get motivated to do it it's also hard to actually do it and 99% of the time I fail at it so I'm just gonna stay depressed like I'm just gonna stay depressed because it's too hard it's too hard to get out of it you know what I mean so if you feel that way you're not alone I feel that way every single second of every single day I'm just happen to not be crying right now which is why I'm filming <laughs> um don't let these videos fool you I cried I guess the last day that I cried was Wednesday I'm feel I'm filming this on a Saturday yeah so something one thing went wrong on Wednesday morning um at like 7 a.m. and I literally did not stop crying until 1 p.m. I was I couldn't stop crying and I can sit here and say with a logical mind like whatever I was crying about wasn't a huge deal it wasn't the end of the world it wasn't even the end of the day like we still went on to have a somewhat good day like the morning sucked but like the afternoon and evening was fine and I still cried all, all day I couldn't stop crying so yeah, I guess I've gone now two and a half days without crying, which is pretty good. I think my next video might be like my mom revamp. I have been getting myself new stuff and really taking care of my skin and my hair. And I got a haircut. I don't know if y'all noticed. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it already. But I got a haircut and I got new clothes and I have a ton of new makeup and skincare coming. I also have my FabFitFun summer box coming, so expect that haul as well. I'll show you guys everything I got from Ulta, and I'll show you everything that I have bought. I've been thinking about doing two videos, like th this one where I tell you guys like what's been going on, and then I'm going to do another video where I show you guys how I'm kind of like doing a fresh start for myself. Like I'm getting myself some new clothes. I got rid of a ton of my old clothes over the last six months. I have gotten rid of so much stuff. I'm getting my own style. I'm taking better care of myself, I'm doing my makeup more, and I want to show you guys all that stuff. So, be on the lookout for some fun videos, and if you want more mom content and cleaning videos, that's on my other channel, which I will link down below. And if you just want random content from me, I will also link my TikTok and my Instagram down below. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, you're amazing. I love you guys. Bye. I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,